Darren, let's get your reaction to what was just a remarkable game of football. Yeah, it was a really good start from us, you know, and we we prepared that we knew Portsmouth would have a lot of the ball in terms of the way they play, and it was important that we didn't get spooked by that because obviously we want to dominate the ball ourselves. But tonight wasn't one of those days or nights that we felt that we, we were okay with them playing in front of us and we wanted to play counter-attack football and we did it well at times. First half, once we went 2-0 up, I actually felt when they scored we'd sort of seen the danger out a little bit and I thought we were coping okay but it was, I mean, credit to Portsmouth, it was relentless, we couldn't get a foothold in the game. We, we worked a lot on our first pass, if we won, we won it back, our first pass was always the most important, we have seen that from the first goal when we released Marcus and we just couldn't get our first pass off. We went through a period, we just kept giving it back to them, which gave us a problem. But we went in at 2-1 and we we felt the first 15 minutes were going to be important. Um, they've obviously equalised. But then I always felt we were going to be a real threat on the, on the counter-attack. And there were some things I wasn't happy with in the first half, in particular that we didn't keep the ball well enough and for long enough. Because I didn't want to come here and just defend, I wanted to come here and make sure we controlled the game at times, but we just couldn't get a foothold. But knowing that um, Portsmouth equalising didn't really bother me so much because I knew they had to win the game. So it didn't, it didn't bother me overly. I wasn't too worried about it. I wasn't happy about it, but it didn't really change the context of the game because we knew they kept, would keep attacking. We scored a third. And I thought we managed the game really well at 3-2, I did. I thought we looked solid, we looked mature. I thought as a team it was a very good performance. Ivan scoring two is a massive bonus because he hasn't been on a great run, but he took his goals brilliantly. And we go into the last day of the season. Talk us through your selection because uh, Josh Knight um, was, was playing in midfield. Was that something that was forced upon you or was there a, no. a, that's something can, that you'd planned? We know he can play there. He can play right back and he can play centre half and he can play centre midfield. And he obviously showed it with a fantastic performance. He was excellent. He covered every blade. He, he's quick, he gets about people. He's composed, as you've seen, putting Marcus away for the first goal. And I just felt we needed a freshness to the team. I felt we needed a freshness, we had five players that didn't start on Saturday. And we needed a response, and you know, we got one tonight, and um, credit to the players for that. Um, they, dug, they dug a result out, and we need to another, dig another one out on Saturday, and see where it, you know, can it get us in the playoffs. Um, but do you know what, we've come over a, a test tonight, and the, look, as, and the way in terms of, as a manager, I, I wasn't comfortable and I wasn't overly happy with certain things, but I was absolutely delighted with the application and the determination in terms of how we went about the game, the tactical plan worked to a degree, apart from what I've just spoke about, but you know, great credit to the players because they've showed to a man tonight that they've got a determination to make sure that we can try and get in the playoffs and I'll be honest, I don't think many people give us a chance tonight. And uh, Ryan Tafazzoli seems to be nursing himself through the game uh, at times. Uh, a word on his sort of commitment today. Yeah, well, listen, Taff, Taff's had this problem with his knee and it's become frustrating for him and frustrating for me because I'm he's not sure whether he's fit. And, you know, tonight, obviously, he's come back into the team. Ben White's come back into the team. The two top players, Tomlin and Tony, I thought, I thought Tomlin was outstanding. It appeared as, I mean, that's, that's Lee. And, you know, he's got some ability, that boy. And, and I thought him and Tony played close together. And I thought Wardy, you know, we brought him in because we knew their strength was on the right side of the pitch. We felt their strength. So Wardy did a great job defensively for us. And then bringing Dembele on, he was outstanding. Well, let's talk Dembele about that, because I, I know you said, knowing that they need to win, you need to win, yeah. there wasn't point in making a defensive substitution. But no, one no. or two people might have been surprised with, with taking Ward in off, given that their right-hand side have been so strong. Well, we, we had to go for it, and, yeah. and Dembele was outstanding when he came on. He really was. He gave him a big, big problem. And, and Ward had done his job. I always felt that if we had to get a result, and I thought, you know, Dembele coming on, gave us a little bit of freshness. And, that, and the two previous games, he's maybe looked a wee bit sluggish and maybe needed to come out to come back in. But no, listen, all, all credit goes to the players because they've shown a real determination tonight. And after Saturday, it was vital that we did that. I just wish that it, it was the reverse and we had 1,500 fans here tonight as yeah. opposed to Saturday because they deserve that. 
but the, the fans we had tonight were fantastic. And look, we take it to the last game and we've given ourselves a chance. Um, we obviously have to hope that Coventry do as a fair, but listen, we, we'll only focus on what we do. We've got a really tough game, Burton are a good team, but we'll have to find energy. We'll have to make sure we, we get recovery into them. Um, it's a long journey back. And just touching upon one period in the second half, which was just end to end, you had Tapazoli hitting the bar for Posh, yeah. you had uh, Pittman through on goal, but an offside flag, and then you get the third. Well, that was a big break, the one where the, the, he's passed it and they're offside. That was a big break, because if that goes in, we have to score two, and then it becomes them counter-attacking on us. So we, we give away the ball terribly, to be honest, and, and we got a break there. But you need a bit of luck, we'll probably do a bit of luck. Um, and I also have to congratulate Luton and Barnsley, I believe they've been promoted, so fantastic for them. And, and obviously it's between us and Doncaster who gets that final playoff place. Excited for Saturday? Yeah, listen, it's, these games are brilliant. I was, I was quite calm tonight. I had a feeling we'd get a result. I know it's easy to say now, but I just I feel we're capable of winning these sort of games. But we have to show what we showed tonight and we have to improve in certain things so we don't have to defend for as long. But you must be delighted. Oh, delighted. Absolutely delighted. And um, delighted for the players um, and the staff and everyone. But job's not done. We need to win on Saturday and hope that that gets us in the playoffs. And then if I see what I did tonight, and I've seen it a few times, take away Saturday, obviously. And we had to come here and make sure that was a one-off blip. You know, if you're going to put performances like that in, it can't continue. Mm. So, although it can't be forgotten about, it's a big bonus for us tonight that we've got that sort of performance that I expect of my teams. That's what I expect. And if they give me that, then I'll always buy them. You've had many historic victories, mm. but in terms of an away performance, does this top the lot? What, overall, since I've been back? Well, certainly since you've been back, it's probably the performance of the season, but in, in the history of Darren Ferguson at Peterborough United, oh, this, no, is, I mean, this is up there, isn't I've, it? I've had some good ones. <laughs> I've been fortunate. I couldn't even tell you, but what tonight showed was we're not going to go down without a fight and squeaky bomb time now it really is let's see who's got it